Hi, I'm Dr. Andrea Hatcher from Olive Branch Park Veterinary Clinic. Today I'm going to talk about the soft shell turtle. The United States Federal Drug Administration prohibits the sale of turtles that are smaller than four inches long. This is to prevent young children from putting them into their mouths and exposing themselves to the salmonella bacteria that many reptiles carry. At their adult length, the shell length is five to seven inches for the male, seven to 14 inches for the female, depending on the species. The Florida soft shell turtle males may have a 14 inch shell length and the females can have shells up to 24 inches long. The enclosure temperature range should be 80 degrees Fahrenheit at the cool side and 85 degrees Fahrenheit at the warm side. The water temperature should be 72 to 75 degrees and the basking spot can be 85 to 89. The humidity should be 70 percent. Soft shell turtles are diurnal. The males are smaller, they have larger tails, and the cloaca is out farther than the females. Their lifespan is approximately 30 years. The aquarium size should be a 100 gallon tank or larger, and the water should be 16 to 18 inches deep. The equipment that will be needed is a submersible water heater, aquarium water filter, water testing kit, UVB light source, which must shine on the turtle, not through the glass, two above water thermometers, one in water thermometer, a humidity gauge, unchlorinated water, rocks for dry basking spot, aquarium, a timer for a light source, 12 hours on, 12 hours off, reptile calcium supplement, reptile vitamins, and fine sand. Soft shell turtles are carnivorous aquatic turtles. Keeping the water clean is very important. Some species may need to be underwater in order to eat. The aquarium setup should have sand with a gentle, sloped up area to a basking spot with smooth rocks. The cool side of the enclosure can be 80 to 85 and the basking spot 85 to 89. They can be fed every other day. 15 to 30 minutes after feeding, remove the uneaten food from the aquarium. Feed a wide variety of foods including aquatic turtle food, freeze-dried shrimp, crickets, earthworms, and pinky mice. Dust the food with calcium supplement three times a week and with vitamin supplement twice a week. Water changes with unchlorinated water should be frequent enough to maintain as low ammonia levels as possible in a pH of 6.5 to 7. The UVB light bulb should be replaced every 6 to 12 months. New turtles should be examined by a veterinarian and have a fecal sample checked for intestinal parasites. All reptiles may carry salmonella, which can cause disease in humans. Very young and very old humans are most at risk. Always wash your hands after handling reptiles. Before deciding to get a soft shell turtle, you need to consider whether or not turtles make good pets. This is from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Then the queen left off quite out of breath and said to Alice, have you seen the mock turtle yet? No, said Alice, I don't even know what a mock turtle is. It's the same thing mock turtle soup is made from, said the queen. The word turtle is often used to refer to both turtles and tortoises. Tortoises live on land and most of them are plant eaters. Turtles spend part or all of their time in water and often eat both plants and animals. They are both reptiles, which means that in captivity they need to be provided with a temperature gradient so they can maintain their body temperature. They also require UV light to stay healthy. Common types of turtles kept as pets include box turtles, sliders, mud turtles, and painted turtles. In 2015, according to the Indiana Department of Natural Resources, it is illegal in the state of Indiana to sell native species of turtles and their subspecies, regardless of whether they are captive bred or wild caught. The Indiana Department of Natural Resources does not encourage the keeping of turtles as pets, but does allow it if the turtle is obtained legally with a hunting or fishing license. Endangered species cannot be collected from the wild or sold in Indiana. The Indiana DNR's listing of Indiana native species of turtles in 2015 include the alligator snapping turtle, which is endangered, the eastern mud turtle, which is endangered, the spotted turtle, which is endangered, Blanding's turtle, which is endangered, the hieroglyphic river cooter, endangered, ornate box turtle, endangered, eastern box turtle, which is protected, red-eared slider, common snapping turtle, smooth soft shell turtle, spiny soft shell turtle, musk turtle, midland painted turtle, western painted turtle, map turtle, false map turtle, and wakita map turtle. Additionally, the FDA prohibits the sale of turtles that are smaller than four inches long. 
This is to prevent young children from putting them into their mouths and exposing themselves to the salmonella bacteria that many reptiles carry. Another factor to consider is that turtles live 30 to 50 years, so getting one as a pet may be a lifelong commitment. Turtles don't like to be handled and they aren't famous for their speed, qualities that may lead a child to become bored with his pet before the 30 to 50 year time period is up. If you decide that you don't want your turtle anymore, you can't release or even re-release it into the wild. Not only is it illegal to do so, but captive turtles don't know how to fend for themselves in the wild. They may expose other wild turtles to disease, and if it is a non-native species to Indiana, it could cause damage to local plant and animal populations. If you make an educated decision to keep a legal species of turtle as a pet, learn about that specific type of turtle before you buy, so that you will know what kind of habitat it needs, the heat and UV lights that it needs, and what kind of food it should eat. Pet turtles should have a yearly physical examination by a veterinarian and have an intestinal parasite exam to check for parasites, some of which can cause disease in people. After reading the sad comments made by the mock turtle in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, I had to look up what mock turtle soup was. Soup was. I've never had turtle soup, mock or otherwise. It's made from parts of the calf that aren't otherwise used, like the head, tails, and head, tail, and hooves. Sounds like hot dogs. <laughs>